I'm supposed to hit that box sale up at eight o'clock. Of course I'm gonna be late. Be late to my own funeral. leaving now I got a bunch of mail in the back and the post office don't open till 9 I want to get an early start on this box lot I'm hoping that he has new things out it's not raining it's not snowing so he'll definitely be having the sale today and I know he always puts new things out so hopefully we find something good so let's go all right so I just left the Salvation Army I did a little shopping at Walmart I got more buttons for my Burberry suit. I don't think, they're not the right color. I need gray and I keep finding, maybe if I can find like a, a suit for a dollar or something that has the same color buttons, I'll just buy it for just for the buttons. You know, like if it's junk or something like that, that's probably what I'll do. But um, I'm headed over to this box lot and I asked the lady in there and she said I could record. Um, so I'll have to bring my GoPro from now on when I go in there and uh, I'm gonna wear my backpack. I'm probably gonna get hot in there, so I'll probably have to just go in with just a t-shirt and you know, I'll probably have to take my sweater off or I'm gonna sweat. It's just, I'm already starting to get, it's supposed to be nice this weekend, so nice weather, that's cool, like 50 degrees. That's why he's having his box lot. Um, it sucks when it rains because all his stuff gets wet. I feel bad for him and he just throws it, throws it out, throws it to the curb. So let's go check this box lot out and hopefully we find something worth writing home about. I did find um, Verb, what's his name? I did find an old Tom, um, Tomy 1984 robot, perfect condition in the box, beautiful. Um, one that was in really good condition, I did see sell for like 94. It was like three bucks. So not a lot of money invested. I only spent $30 in there. I'll triple my money with just that one item. I did get a suit. Um, it's not a known brand, but it is a brand new suit and it is a bigger size. So I'm guessing for like $8, I can probably sell it for about 50 bucks. So, you know, maybe a little bit more. I'll price it, I'll probably price it for 100 and just take offers. So um, yeah, we're gonna go hit this box lot up. Okay, what is going on? Thanks for keeping up with me, staying tuned in. Um, I did go to the box lot and I did hit it up and I filled my whole entire car and it's going to take a while to go through all this so I think I'm going to break this up into sections. I'm just going to do like I did with my other video where it was too long. I did it in sections. Um, I could probably try another program but I don't think that somebody wants to sit and watch me go through all this stuff. I mean you, you, you do want to see me go through it but you don't want to sit that long. It's way too much stuff to do in one video. So I may break it up into three videos, um, maybe like 30 minutes a piece. This one's gonna have to be short because there's already footage before, behind this footage. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. Um, I'm gonna show you what I got at the Salvation Army first. This was two bucks. I think that this might be vintage. Does that have a date on it? I think I'm just going to give it to my granddaughter. I'm going to look up the value first and make sure Fiesta, blah, 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 blah. I don't see, I don't see a date on it, but it's one of those monkeys. I guess Velcro is still pretty good. You just kind of wear it around your neck, you know, it's kind of like, hold on. <clears throat> monkey. Where's his head? There he is. Monkey. She's going to like that. That is pretty cool. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, so we're going to throw him over there. And there's so much stuff here. All right, so now we're going to get into the bag of stuff that I got from the from the Salvation Army. I wonder if I can put it up here. Yeah, there's, just, there's so much stuff. There's really no way to really sit it. Okay, I grabbed this because it was only $2.00. Somebody has one of these. This is Roger Whitaker. I did see some records too um, at the at the box sale, but um, someone has one listed for a hundred. There isn't one new listed online. 
I think, I don't think one sold. I think one did sell. I don't think it was new. I don't think it was new in the box. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I'm just going to beat the prices of the ones that are online. I can, I guarantee that I can probably get at least $30 for this. So with that being said, 30 bucks. All right, man, I'm tired. I need a Mountain Dew. But that's upstairs. So I grabbed it. All right, so I did get some hats. Oh, don't fall. Ooh, that was glass. Don't, every time I do this, I always break something. All right, let's get this over with because this is glass, and then we'll do the hats. God. All right, so it says scotch on it. I don't know what kind of bottle this is. I just seen that it was really, really like, I guess it's called ornate Um, when something's like really, it's like painted on. It's just a really, really, really cool bottle. Um, Like I said, I don't know if it has a ton of value. I actually paid up for it. I didn't know how much this bottle was until I got to the register and I was like, you know what? I'm not putting it back. I'm just going to get it. I think that might be the date. Is that the date right there? We got 72 on there. So I don't know. I really don't know. Um, hopefully this is worth a decent amount. Anybody would want a bottle like this. It has a lid. Take the lid. Hmm. I don't smell anything in there, but it does say Damani. Damani. Maybe that's. I think it's swelled up a little bit because it's hard to put back in. There you go. All right, I'm not going to push it in all the way, but scotch. That's where you put your scotch. Let me look it up. I'm going to look it up on my computer because I always put my phone. I'm using my phone and I have a stand that holds my phone up. Um, I think it was D-O-M-A-N. Damani. Damani. Um, scotch. Let's try. Bottle. We have empty bottle Buchanan Scotch whiskey. Empty bottle. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to do a little bit of research, but it is a really, really cool bottle. Like it's really dope. I really, I just thought that it had something going on with it, so um, that I should pick it up. Use your, just use your like intuition when you're out, and if you see something and you think that. It doesn't go that way with everything. Like that's not something that I do on a regular basis. Like I don't do that all the time because you can end up with a lot of junk if you do that. So I got some hats. Um, they were, a lot of them were new at tags. I wasn't going to pick up the Harley Davidson hats, but I think they're a little bit old. This one's an Appalachian Harley Davidson. There's one out here in Pennsylvania in Mechanicsburg. So I, I see a lot of clothing from that. Harley Davidson. I, I believe that this one is a little bit older. Um, made in Bangladesh. I think that this is, I think that this is actually old global products, but like I said, they're only two bucks. So I just picked a bunch of hats up. I think I picked four up. This is actually like brand new. There's no dirt in it. It's actually in better shape than I thought it was. This is a nice Harley hat. Um, don't know how much I can get for this. Maybe 20 bucks, maybe more. So I don't know. I'm going to put the hats. I'm going to put them over here because I don't want them to get squished. Here's another one. This one's in basically the same type of condition. Whenever you see this, this is a strap back. And I just learned a new thing. You're not allowed to use the word. Um, you can't use the word Velcro on in any of your titles, your listings. Or they will get pulled down for a Vero um, um, infraction or whatever you want to call it. Um, but anyway, th whenever you're listing something that has that has the strap, this that has this stuff, Velcro. It's called hook and loop. I did not know that. I I researched it yesterday, but that's what it's called. It, so when you're listing something that has Velcro on it, you just put into the title the type of fastener is hook and loop. So this one's pretty dope too. That's a pretty cool Harley. It's got the wings on it. They're like kind of light. Can't really see them, but this one's really cool. Maybe I sell them both together in a lot. I don't know. Um, this one's made in China, another global product. So I don't know how old these are. I don't know if they're vintage. Not all made in USA Harley Davidson is 
um, is not vintage, so or or not made in USA. Some of it can be made in other places and it can still be vintage. This was brand new. That's why I picked it up. Nothing runs like a deer. Just your basic John Deere. Um, this is like a $20 hat. You know, 15, 20 bucks. I'll probably take 15 for it. Hats are really light. They don't take cost nothing to ship. Make sure you're putting them in boxes. Do not put this in a, a padded flat rate or, or, or a padded envelope or um, a regular envelope. I'm getting my glasses. I went to Walmart today and they're booked. They're booked all the way to like the mid of January. So my I, I set up an appointment because I can't do the plastic frames. If you guys notice since you've been watching my videos that my glasses are always crooked. Like I know that usually one part of your body, like different parts of your body are usually um, longer or your ears are not perfectly lined up. But for me, I can't do the crooked glass. Like they always look crooked in my videos and it's driving me crazy. Uh, maybe I'll, my, I'll just, they'll look better. I'm not used to plastic frames. I did them for two years and I'm just not feeling them no more. So I'm going to go back to metal. Uh, I got your basic Carhartt. I don't know if this is old. It is probably not. Um, durability, comfort, fit. Uh, you know, it's probably not worth that much. But two bucks. Brand new with tags. Um, this type of stuff is the kind of stuff that you need to get listed now. Like it is what? Today's the 10th. 15 days till Christmas. So people are going to be ordering things now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work all weekend and just list, you know, a lot. I'm going to try to get a few things up today too. But, um, so the batteries are corroded in this. This is the Sony, my first, um, my first Walkman. So the batteries are corroded, but it was only a dollar. I figured I would take a chance for a dollar. Um, it's definitely worth it for the parts because it's just a really, really cool. You can see the belts. The belts are actually still on. You can see them right in there. That's really cool how you can see how it works. No, we're good. It sounds like there's something loose in it. Um, I believe there was a strap that came with this. And it's missing the strap, but, you know, whatever. It is what it is. All right, we're just going to transfer that into there. I picked these up. These are musical, that's a musical Nutcracker, musical Teddy Bear, and this one, these are, I think these are Avon. Are these Avon? No, these are something else. But um, they're really cool, they have a little velvet box. This one is the musical Santa ornament. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell these all together. They're all from 2000, so they're all 20 years old, they're all vintage. Um, I'll give you guys a little, I'll give you a little... I can get it out of the thing. It's in a slide thing, but it's not slide. It's really stuck in there. Let's try to really. I think it's. I think it's stuck to the side. Wow! There it goes. Wow! There you go. Oh my God! That's going to be a pain in the butt to get back on, then, isn't it? What's up? It's working. It's definitely working. That means that the batteries in it are good. What's this? These are cool. I don't know what these are worth. I figured I'd grab them because it's Christmas. So they're definitely going to sell. Um, anything that doesn't is just... It's definitely going to have to wait until... See? I messed up the thing. Yeah, I'm going to give the monkey to... Um, I'm going to give it to Aaliyah. Alright, so let's get this back in here. Yeah. All right, that one did kind of mess up. Hey, monkey. All right, put him over there. Um, I think they're coming over tomorrow. Who, are we on them? Yep. Can't find my phone. It's not down here. The only thing down here is me and my haul video, which you're interrupting. My bad. Remember. It's all good. All right. I picked this suit up for... Make sure there's no receipt in the bag. Picked this suit up. It's not a great brand, but it was cheap. It was only like I think it was seven, seven something. Um, the name of the brand. Let's see. Is there? I don't think there's. It's a big size too. It was eight ninety nine, so I paid nine dollars for it. I'm actually like stepping on it. It's really, it's a really big size, so that's a plus that it's bigger. So. 
um, have a better chance of selling it. It's not your usual color that you that that um, I'm used to seeing. This. So my son's looking for his phone. He can't find his phone. We never lose our phones. So all right. So this is a nice just a just a basic burgundy suit. Um, the brand is called Modern Uamo. Like I said, it's nothing special. It's probably like a polyester blend, so it's not a great fabric. But it is a nice suit. And the bonus is, is that it's new, so that's the best part about this suit. I don't know what the material is. It's not... I was going to say, the, the buttons don't... At, at first, I thought it was a... Um, I thought it was a functioning surgeon cuff when the buttons come undone. All right, so that was it for the Salvation Army. Now we're going to get into the rest of the stuff. This, I don't know what this is. I have to look it up, but I believe that he's missing something. I don't know if he, see his bag is back there. So it looks like he's supposed to be holding something. I don't, I don't know what he was supposed to be holding, but it is made in Thailand. It actually has a price. It was probably like a vintage, um, like a tour, you know, a tourist or what, a souvenir. So I, I don't know. I have to really look into that. This is a look. Be on the lookout for these. This is a shack. Is it Shackman? This is a Shackman. It says copyright Shackman. Um, it's made in Japan. So here's the ball, right? I would imagine this is a Christmas um Christmas ball. It's really weird. It's kind of like uh like fuzzy. It's like a coconut. Um that'd be the best way to describe it, really, if you ask me. But it has a little sleeping baby in it. Now the red sleeping baby is the one that's worth the most. The red sleeping baby's like um like fifty dollars or more, depending on the condition. Mine is in I'm gonna say Probably probably pretty good condition. I don't know how you would describe the condition. I don't know, but here, here's what it looks like. I'm trying to not to, I don't want to damage it. There's the little sleeping baby. So I'm going to put him back in here because that's where he goes. Going back to sleep. So I didn't see any of them with the, with the, the Christmas ball, with the ornament itself, because the baby is not an ornament. I looked and I did a little bit research Um. A little bit of research, maybe I needed to dig a little bit deeper, um, maybe on Google, maybe to look online to see, because I just don't know what keyword to use. I don't know if what's this, like if this is called a shell or it's cracked too. It looks like it's cracked right there. So I would definitely have to put that in the description. So um, I think I can probably get a hundred bucks for this. I mean, that's pretty much what I spent all day um, with everything was about a hundred dollars. I spent 70 at the box so i gave um i gave the owner's son five dollars for helping me carry my stuff to the car and um because he didn't have to do that and he did it anyway i thought that was awesome so i, I gave him five bucks i was like here's five bucks thank you for helping me um so the total was 65 originally was 60 and then i and then i stopped and i went oh wait a minute and i seen like five or six more new items one of them was this this is a vacuum. This is a pineapple slicer. I do not know what this is worth. I have to look this up. It could only be worth like maybe eight dollars. It's definitely real. Um, it's really light, so it'll definitely ship um really cheap. Okay, so this got a big old. I'm gonna fix the box here. It's got a big dent in it. <laughs> big old dent. So you can't really fix that. All right, so I don't think that I should open this. I should leave it. Leave it closed, damaged, but the problem is, is that I'm not sure if it's damaged on the inside. If somebody did that to the box, it could be a possibility that that was thrown around. So this is a 10 cup glass carafe. I don't know what this is worth. I don't know if it's vintage or not. I'm trying to find a year on it. I think I was doing that earlier and I just didn't see anything. Material, there's the, it says 005. Maybe 2005 or something. I don't know. Somebody was trying to get 
They were trying to get 12 bucks for it. So I don't know what this is worth. I have to look it up. But it's brand new in the box. The tape, the tape is perfect. Here, it's perfect. So you can tell that that's factory taped shut. So I might have to cut it open and take a look at it. I don't know. All right. So let's keep it moving. This, I don't know what this is worth either. This is an ornament. I think that this is glass. I'm going to have to do some research. I was watching um, Don, the auction professor, yesterday. Shout out to Don. Um, he was telling me about um, the see-through. What are they called? The see-through postcards are called... Oh, what are they called? I forget. I can't remember. Um, but they're like, you hold them up to the light. I think they're held, held to light. H HTL or something held to light. Those are um, postcards, and they're worth a lot of money if you can find them. And then the one I watched before that, one of his videos, was the pens. The um, There's pens. They have, like, water in them, and they put, like, there's little – they were for advertisements. They're, they're called floating. They're floating pens. The floating pens are valuable, too, if you can find them. It was actually – I thought it was funny because – I was actually looking for a floating pen today. Like there was a pile of pens. I was like, please let me find a floating pen. That would be so awesome. I would actually share that with him. So shout out to Don, the auction professor. Thank you for um, the knowledge and, you know, the know-how. Thank you for, you know, showing me what to look for. Okay, so here's another item that was there when I was getting ready to leave. This is a phone mate. I've never seen anything like this. I don't know what this is worth. This is actually a cordless phone. It looks like one that's not cordless, but it is cordless. So it's Rome phone, um, talk and receive, cordless telephone with clear line security, clear line selectability. Um, Rome phone clears up cordless gobble, gobbly gook. That was awesome. Check that out. Um, this is 19... 1983 oh my god and this is in really really good condition i don't know what this is worth i, I hope that i'm going to be really really super surprised um to see that this is really really valuable that would be awesome unfortunately the robot that i got today you are going to cry it's in such good condition here's the box um there's three different ones that they made there was the small one. The small one's name is, is Dingbot. Then there's Omnibot, and then there's Verbot. The one that I have is the smaller one is Verbot. I'm going to show you. Unfortunately, um, here's, the, here's the directions and stuff. I'm just going to put them back in there. I guess that's the way they put them in there. They just kind of folded them up. kind of sucks that they did that because it could have been in better shape. I'm guessing that that's how they did it. If I, if I, when I look at other ones and see, I'll know. All right, so here's the remote. I'm going to pull the remote out for you guys so you can see. The only way to get the remote out is to pull the darn cord. But Here's the remote. So the battery was left in here. Um, fortunately, this battery is actually still good because it will still power on. It still powers on. So that battery is actually good. So here's the remote to it. Um, the problem is, is that they took the batteries out of it. It takes four... Um, Four double A's and two C batteries. So they took one C out and one double A, thinking that, you know, that it won't run, it'll save the battery life. But they didn't take the rest of the batteries out. Who knows what happened? This could have been shoved in a in the clock, you know, in the in the attic or the basement for years. But it's in perfect condition. But there was corrosion, and when I was pulling the batteries out, one of the terminal, one of the metal connectors broke off. So I mean, I know you can rig it with tin foil. There's, I can go. I there's ways you can go around it. It can be repaired, but I'm really upset about that because this is a really, really awesome find, and I was really looking forward to testing it, like just playing with my toy. Wouldn't you want to play with this toy? I would. It's got like talk. It's got voice command. Oh, this thing is dope. <laughs> that's way ahead of its time. That's like eighty something too. I think that's eighty seven. All right, so what else? Was there anything? I'm trying to think if there was anything else that I grabbed on the way out.